Hello and welcome to today's How to Add Up Fix. Today, we are looking at a Whirlpool oven that is presenting an F3 fault. The first thing we need to do is follow safety procedures to ensure it is safe to work on your appliances. First, we need to locate the breaker for the oven and turn it to the off position next. Remove the oven from the wall to access and unplug the power from the wall. The back of your unit should now be exposed. With our F3 fault, we will be testing the thermal probe as F3 indicates an issue with the thermal probe. A lot of thermal probes will read around 1100 ohms, give or take 100 ohms, at room temp, but be sure to check your user manual for a more accurate reading. As you can see, our reading is 1084 ohms. This is a good indicator that the thermal probe is working. If the thermal probe was bad, then remove the screws holding it together and install a new one. If you have a meter, then also measure the new one to ensure it has a good reading. Since we are still having an F3 fault, locate and remove the screws that are protecting the internal components to reveal the control board. Be sure to document all wiring and configurations by taking several pictures from different angles. This will make the reinstallation process easier. Remove all the wiring to the control board and remove any screws that may be holding it in place. Carefully remove the control board from the oven and be sure not to damage any electronic components or the harness. Use our website to start your repair process. If you are unable to find your model, then use our custom repair link to see if we can service your make and model. Package the unit with protective material so it is not damaged during the shipping process and be sure to use our prepaid label provided once the order is placed. You can also drop off your repair at our faculty in Buford, Georgia. Once we receive your unit, we will provide it with an order number and you can have a live step-by-step -step update and your unit progresses through our repair process. Once your unit is in our system, our skilled technicians will diagnose the issues and begin the repair process. After your unit is repaired, it undergoes our testing process with our in-house assets. We also have an in-house engineer that is constantly expanding our testing capabilities. Once your repair has passed our testing, we carefully package your unit in an ESD bag to prevent any static shock and also use the appropriate packaging depending on your type of repair to ensure we protect it as best as possible. Once your unit is returned to you, you will find that we insert an overview of what was done during your repair. We also include a QR code for troubleshooting in case you have any issues after your repair. This QR code will take you to our FAQ, where we have a community that helps everyone grow and understand their appliances. To reinstall your newly repaired and cleaned unit, carefully place the control board back in place and do the uninstall process in reverse order. Screw in the control board to secure it. Reference the photos you took earlier for the wiring and carefully plug these back into place. Take extra caution on this step as miswiring a unit can cause permanent damage. Place all covers back into place and tighten them into place. Reconnect power, turn on the breaker, and put your oven back into place. Reset the clock and enjoy your working oven once again. Here at Upfix, we are dedicated to get your appliance up and running again. Don't hesitate to reach out to our tech support or customer service for any questions you may have. You can find all of our information on our website at upfix.com.